Jonathan Rango um, is a publisher of XXL for many years. I worked with him. We did a lot of wonderful, great things. And um, he had done them, he had put them, always been supportive of the magazine. If you look back where I prayed our, we broke all the covers. And But the, the, the mission behind Respect initially was to be kind of like the life magazine of hip hop and just purely celebrate the uh, photographers that document this culture. And I thought that was quality, but you know, if I was gonna do it, I wanted to have a little bit more competitive edge to it that, you know, we're also celebrating, you know, artists and just take, you know, just kind of just documenting the best in hip hop and presenting it in a, in a way that really, you know, glorifies photography and beautiful images and, you know, great words also. So, you know, when I met with Ron Gold, there was an opening over there and he sat with me and he said that, you know, I definitely could, you know, drive the car and take it in a new direction. And it inspired me, you know, I thought it was a great opportunity. And, um, you know, I went really unconventional. I put Waka Flocka on the cover because, you know, he never got a national cover. And I feel like he's one of the most important artists coming out of the South uh, that isn't getting his due. So I think right there, that just shows that it's a different magazine. And, you know, I, I think it's also not defined by its cover. I think that, you know, obviously by putting Waka Flocka on the cover, I balanced it out by doing like people that the internet deem worthier, like, J Electronic or J Cole. Like that's not an accident, stupid. Like that's the show the range of hip hop, to show what's going on. At the same time, uh, Bonsu Thompson, um, I had recommended him to go over to the source. I, I'm good good friends with Londell McMillan, who's the new, ironically I'm friends with the new publisher of the source. Whoever thought that would happen. But uh, Londell's a good friend and um, he, he always was bugging me about coming over there and I was like, I don't know if I can. I mean, that just seems like resurrecting the past. Like I'm gonna run the source and blah, blah. And I was like, plus you need like a younger guy, you need a young lion, like you need a, you know, I kept always selling them on Monsoon. And at first he wasn't really feeling me, but now, you know, they just put out a great issue with Rick Ross and Wiz Belief on the cover. So it was so weird that those two things were going on at once. Like on one hand, I was just helping Bonsu and whatever way I could. And then Ryan goes step to me about doing a magazine. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, this is funny. Like, but it's worked out great. And we've been supportive of each other and, um, I'm excited about my issue out, and he's excited about having his new issue out. And you know, we're both guys that have been through the XXL wars, and you know, it's great to have these outlets. But yeah, it definitely went down in like that September, October range, and then um, we we worked in a magazine for about a, about a couple weeks, two or three weeks, and uh, it's basically closed in like early November. I think when you look at a magazine, you want if you don't have information that you don't already know, you want also want to have things that are contextualized with that person speaks on things that you've already heard about through the internet. So I think it, it works in tandem. You basically are looking for, like the internet is built on what we you know call pull quotes, which is the big quote that they glorify. So that's your, that's your headline. So basically you're looking for provocative stuff on one end that can translate to the internet. But at the same time, I also think there's just a separate audience that, you know, they're not on the internet all the time like us. Like we're like the underground, we're the weirdos. We're living this shit, we're on Twitter all day. Most people get to go on the internet in the morning and then at night, you know, and I think those people travel a lot, they go to a newsstand, they still want something to read, you know, they're not as in tune. So I think you, you have to please both people. And I think that, you know, I think that respect will do that. I think that people are going to recognize it and it's going to jump out, you know, that it's something unique. And I think it's definitely going to open, open it up to a whole new audience. We at the finish line with the flag waving. Come on. Oh, they want me to fall.